Hello, welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be the second video in the build series for the CS 7.2 case sorter. So if you missed the first video, go ahead and check that out. It's going to be in the description of this channel. But today we're going to be covering the bottom half of the sorter. This is the actual mechanism which rotates and directs brass that's been classified into the appropriate bin. So let's go ahead and get started on this build. Okay, so on the table in front of me here, I have all the parts needed to build out the bottom part of the sorter assembly. So these are the 3D printed parts we're gonna need, and I'll go ahead and move uh, the screws and stuff out of the way. I have this sheet that I've made that kind of keeps track of all the parts that you need for this. So we're gonna start by removing any supports that we had. So I like to use these hybrid tree or organic tree supports that are in the bamboo slicer. They usually come out very easily. You can use pliers or, or do it by hand. These ones are a little bit tighter than normal, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my pliers. But the nice thing is it snaps off mostly in just one piece. And there's actually two trees, so one going through the middle here. And then the only other support is just this little section here for the sensor. I noticed on this print there's a little bit of filament there in the hole, so I'm not sure what happened there, but we'll go ahead and get that cleaned up. Now that that's done, let me go ahead and clean this table up a bit, get rid of some of these supports. The first thing we're going to do is run our sensor wire. So all of the parts you see here come from the kit. This sensor wire is pre-wired with the ferrules and it's ready to go. So we just need to pass the sensor wire through the middle of the sorter bracket and then up through that square hole and kind of pull it out of the way. Now we can go ahead and grab our optical sensor and install that. So we want to run this before and this is going to go in the orientation where these metal sides go up or they're facing upward I guess is a better way to say it. The optical sensor will go over the two center holes and I'm going to use the M3 by 8 socket screws and I'll just put these in with the screwdriver. I want to make sure whenever we're threading straight into plastic that we just don't over tighten anything. So once that's tightened down, just make sure it's finger tight. We can go ahead and attach our cable. And it should be in this orientation where the white wire is on the left and the red wire is in the middle, black is on the right. Next we're going to install our motor. And so with the motor, it's going to be the same thing we're going to run our cable first and the motor is going to attach into the recessed area but we want to make sure that we do our cable because we want that motor to be faced backwards towards the bracket which gives us the cleanest cable run. So I'm going to go ahead and run my cable through the middle of the bracket here and then attach it to the motor. And you can see how this is that would be pretty hard to do after you've installed it. There's not a lot of room to work there. So for this one, we're just going to install the motor with the four M3 by 14 screws and we're making sure to put a washer in there for each one. I like to get them all sort of snug down a little bit and then come back and tighten them more individually. We're going to install the motor flange on the sort pipe bracket. And so before we do that, we've got to put these set screws in. These are little M3 set screws into the side of the flange. Be careful not to put them in too far or you won't be able to get it over the motor shaft. So I just do it until I can start to see them coming through. And this one's pretty straightforward. There's four holes in both. Line them up and uh, drive your screws in. I like to start my screws with the screwdriver and then I'll drive them in with the electric drill 
it's a little bit faster that way. In the end, I'll finish back off with the screwdriver just to make sure that we didn't uh, over tighten them. And again, these don't need to be that tight, they just need to uh, be snug. Now um, we're going to mount this, but before we can actually mount the sorter bracket onto the motor, we've got to install what I'm calling the interrupter. So this is for homing and it interrupts the optical sensor. So generally um, I would use one of the longer M3 by 18 socket head cap screws. The kit comes with four of them and you need one for the sorter base. That means you have a few extras. This will only go through one side easily and thread into the other. So you want to make sure you don't start threading it right away. It should slide through the first hole. And it helps if you use the right size bit. So once this is a little bit, you know, starting to tighten down, we'll just slide it over and line it up. Now, when I'm lining this up, I usually start by putting the edge of the uh, interrupter on the bump. So we left the bump on the sorter carriage or the sorter bracket uh, just so we could use other sensors if we wanted. But you'll see there's marks on the base. And so what I would do is line up the bracket where the pipe's going to be to that mark and then make sure the interrupter is just starting to um, enter the face of the optical sensor. That's about the right orientation we want here, but we can always loosen it and slide it around to get it more precise once we get everything put together. But that's close enough for now. Now, when we put this on, we want to make sure um, the height isn't too low, otherwise it won't be able to revolve, it'll hit the sensor. So you want to set the height at the level where the interrupter isn't hitting the bottom of the sensor. So once you have that oriented, go ahead and just tighten down those little lock set screws. And again, you don't want to put too much pressure. These are small screws. It doesn't take a lot. You can always use some Loctite, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, you could have a hard time getting them out if you ever needed to. So this is just about right. There's no um, interference as I turn it. And now we just need to go ahead and pop the pipe in. Now there's these two notches in the pipe. These are indexing notches and they line up with two notches in the sort pipe bracket. So if you try to line them up backwards, the pipe just won't look right. It won't be vertical. So this is the correct way to line it up. They'll kind of snap in place and it will be held here on its own, but we're going to use these M3 by eight socket head screws on either side to lock it in place. Now on my builds, as an alternative to these screws, you can use um, M3 thumb screws, M3 by 10 uh, thumb screws. You can buy a bag of them on Amazon for about 10 bucks and they give it a nicer feel than having to use a screwdriver for this. But these work just fine. So the next thing we're going to do is, and it's actually the last thing we need to do here, is go ahead and connect the bracket to the, the pipe mount. So we'll go ahead and start our M3 socket head screw, M3 by 8 socket head screw, until it starts to come through. And then once that's ready, we can go ahead and slide our pipe uh, mount into that slot and tighten it down a little bit. If you get this one too far, you won't be able to put the, the mount in. I'm going to back it off just a bit. So the, the pipe mount has a channel on the bottom. So we'll want to make sure we get our wires in that channel before we connect these two parts. So once you do that, they should just slide together. And we're going to have to adjust this later during our uh, install. So I'm just going to put a little bit of um, torque on the screw, not very much, just enough to kind of hold it in place for now. You don't want to really dent anything because then 
you know, things might slide into that dent when you're trying to adjust it if it's close. So congratulations, you finished building the sorter and now it's time to move on to the next video. The third video in this series will be covering the assembly of the electronics box. So let's go ahead and uh, move on to that video. We'll see you there.